Have you heard about the college students that have been potentially exposing themselves to COVID-19 uh, in hopes of getting infected to sell the plasma, the convalescent plasma with antibodies? Well, honestly, I heard this on the news recently. I had to come to you guys and talk about this. Um, this is a statement released by Brigham Young University in Idaho. BYU Idaho says in a statement online that it is deeply troubled by the accounts of individuals who have intentionally exposed themselves or others to COVID-19 with the hopes of getting the disease and being paid for plasma that contains COVID-19 antibodies. The university condemns this behavior, is actively seeking evidence of any such conduct among their student body. Guys, I actually could not believe it when I heard this on the news, and I know that this is very shocking to you all, but it's not just sort of shock and outrage that I have, it's also sadness. Let me explain. Okay, well, first of all, let's, let's take it a step back. First of all, we don't want anyone intentionally exposing themselves or others to COVID-19 for any reason, whether it's to sell plasma, whether it's to get the disease and get over with it, or whatever the case might be. We know that getting COVID-19 is not necessarily benign, meaning it's not necessarily a walk in the park for some people. Yes, many and probably most people do fine uh, and, and recover from COVID-19, but many people have long lasting symptoms. Some people end up hospitalized and others end up dying from this disease. And it's not just the elderly or those with underlying conditions. We know this can happen to young people too. So we don't want anyone being intentionally exposed to COVID and exposing themselves or other people for any reason. Okay, let's be clear about that. But then there's this potential element here of college students potentially exposing themselves or other people to be able to donate plasma. Now, convalescent plasma is this idea of plasma from people who have recovered from the disease who may then have antibodies to COVID. And you guys have probably heard about the use of convalescent plasma on the news. That's a whole different thing. I have other videos on that. But the idea of donating plasma, you might say, well, why would they do that? Convalescent plasma has been used and is being used in certain situations to try to help COVID-19 patients who are ill. It's a good thing for people to donate convalescent plasma. Don't get me wrong. I want to be very clear. Yes, I want people to donate convalescent plasma. And I'm hoping that we will learn more and more and more about the use of convalescent plasma, how well it works, how well it doesn't, etc. There's a lot we still have yet to learn, but I do want people to donate it. However, I don't want people exposing themselves or other people to get COVID in order to donate it. That's not what we want. And the further element, the other element I think that makes me sad is I'm worried and wondered, wondering rather, if students are donating this to get money. Now we know that in some cases, I've read some websites from, um, you know, uh, plasma donation centers where they're giving extra money for people who donate convalescent plasma. I have no issues with that at all. But I'm wondering if some of these students are doing it because they have financial issues. They have financial difficulties. That is what I'm concerned about. That if a financial concern is what is driving potentially these students to expose themselves or others to get COVID to be able to donate convalescent plasma. You know, it worries me so much because we're living in this world right now where there are so many people with financial problems because of COVID. We have, many of us have lost our jobs. Spouses have been out of work. Companies and stores and restaurants have been shut down. People have been furloughed. People have been laid off. Financial difficulties is not unlikely. What I'm concerned about is that financial difficulties is trickling down to everyone, which I think and we know it has, and perhaps even to college students who may need resources. So I'm gonna talk on a, different, a few different levels here. If you are a college student, uh, you're in school and you're having financial difficulties, please talk to your administrators, please talk to your financial aid offices, please talk to your leaders so you can find out what options exist for you. And then for all of us, let's remember not to expose ourselves or other people intentionally to COVID for any reason. Also the reason of intentionally getting COVID to donate plasma. Separately, those of you who have gotten COVID, Please donate your plasma, your convalescent plasma, because it may help someone else. We still have a lot to learn about convalescent plasma, but it may just help someone else. 
Guys, I hope this is clear. I hope this makes sense. College students and others, please do not get yourself sick or other people. College students, if you're having trouble financially, please talk to those uh, who are leaders at your school. We are standing with you. We are praying for you just as we're praying for everyone. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I so invite you to do so. Uh, and please share this video with others. I will be back tomorrow with more health news. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle.